Welcome to the second set. How's everybody doing out there? I smell the burgers and the wieners. That was Old Dangerfield for those of you who may not be just landed, may not be so well versed in the bluegrass repertoire. I don't know if any of you folks out there know who Del McCory is. He's at the top of the heap as far as um, the bluegrass goes. Actually, I'm not, is he kind of jumping off the heap and letting his sons go on? But. Um, well, he's still at the top of the heat. He's still up there. He's a fabulous um, singer. He, was a, he actually started out, I believe, playing banjo and then guitar with Monroe. <laughs> Called True True Love. <laughs> Oh! 
send this one out to all the guitar players out there you know who you are and uh, this is one written by the great Norman Blake and it's called Ginseng Sullivan tells an interesting story if you care to listen to the words Thank <laughs> you. 
it is on that CD, on that table there, our latest CD, Trouble with the Gray. Again, thank you so much for coming on out on this lovely day and hanging out. This is wonderful. Okay, so uh, how about a nice hand for <laughs> Betsy Rome on the guitar over here. That's the two blue den mother. <laughs> And I don't know if anybody's introduced him, but the, uh, the head Cub Scout here <laughs> on the mandolin from Mayopac, New York, Michael Cezano. On the mandolin. The head Cub Scout, that sounds sort of like a dubious distinction, actually. Traditional tune, we're going to get a little soulful. Send it on out to all of you wayfaring strangers out there. You know who you are.
Put on the aforementioned CD. I don't want to be too shameless about that, but it's a favorite of ours to play. We learned it from Louis Jordan, who's a fabulous jazz performer, I guess from the 30s, 40s. It's a song sure. called How Long Must I Wait for You. Well, so a uh, nice hand for Jamie Doris on the bass back here. Let's hear it now. Let's hear it. There you go. He's got a great little uh, part in this tune. Betsy has her weird looking uh, jazz, gypsy jazz guitar, whatever that thing is. Looks like a uh, dreadnought that didn't grow up yet. There's still hope. Right. Here we go. One, two, three, yeah. Excursion. Told me you would meet me at the station gate, but I've got a different version. Train number one is gone. Train number two is gone. Train number three has been gone. How long must you wait for you? Train number four is gone. Train number five is gone. Train number six has been gone. How long must you wait for you? Got a ticket and a reservation set for two. Love is waiting on the track. I got these reservations without you. I'm gonna get the tickets back.
We're going to feature Kalia on a wonderful old time number. And if you feel like getting up and doing a little dance, by all means, do not stop yourself. This is called Fall on My Knees. And as always, keep an eye on the um, HVBA's website. Um, they're always posting what's going on, and there's plenty of going on. We thank you for supporting live music, and we thank the HVBA for having us. Let's give the HVBA a quick hand. I don't want to be remiss in my, my thanking duties. likes to do waltzes and this is one written by David Grisman or dog with a W called dogs waltz ready to go dog send it out to the dogs
got there. We'll take one more. Here we go. Kind of like a little drool on the table there, right? Did you meet Joan Harrison? Give her a big hand. She's over here being very patient with all the mandolin tunes. <laughs> Betsy's got back on her, um, her bluegrass git. Blue Lonesome. Send this out to the father of bluegrass music, Bill Monroe. Oh, yep. Thank you. 
going to do another tune that uh, Joan wrote uh, a few years back. Contemporary bluegrass, we think. It's called Stepping Stone. Also on the CD. Ready? One, two, Blackberry Blossom.
Cherry Blossom. Thanks again, folks. That's uh, Betsy Rome on the guitar. <laughs> Kalia Yeagle on the fiddle. Yes. Jamie Doris on the bass. Joan Harrison on the um, banjo. This is a banjo, Michael. And on the mandolin, please give him a hand, Michael Susano. <laughs> yeah, we're going to do the mice, uh, mice in a camper here. We'll leave you with the... Um, the tune about the camper that went bad with the mice in it. You know the story, right? You know the story? You don't, you don't know the story? Dave knows the story? Would you like me to tell you You guys story? know the story? You don't know the story? They don't know the story. Very quickly, folks, Betsy and her husband Bob had a wonderful Coleman camper that gave us many years of service. Gray Fox, Strawberry Park, all the wonderful festivals. Well, one year she left it closed up a little too long over the winter. And when she opened it, it had fallen victim to the mice. So one night after a gig, Betsy and I and Michael were back at my house and working on this tune and decided to dedicate it to those very ambitious little mice. And we call it Mice in the Camper. If you listen closely, you're going to hear some little footsteps. So kind of swingy number. Mice in the Camper.
Thanks, folks. We'll see you next time.